Hi everyone, welcome back to Station Ears. Um, I hope your Saturday is going well. Um, I was actually going to do a stream tomorrow on Sunday, but um, Void mentioned in Discord um, that we'd had an update and I'd, I'd missed it, so I took a look and went, yes, we have. Um, it's the hygiene and mood update. So basically, uh, we now need to get out of our suit every now and again, uh, have a shower, and also the food and, well, the food that we have, um, well, sorry, the food that we eat determines our mood. So good food is better, obviously, like your canned food's good and proper cooked food is good, whereas my powdered eggs, probably not as much. Um, I've noticed that above my little burger icon 
I have some stars and I've already eaten some powdered eggs before I started streaming and they've gone down to two stars. Um, I don't know what's happening with the water because I currently have, oh, that's just fixed it. Okay, it said 169%, but uh, there we go. It's it's now says 99, so that's fine. <clears throat> um, So we need to have a delve at this update then because as I've logged in, I can see that uh, my hygiene is not great. So we need to have a, um, we need to get a suit stand. Hey Void, how's it going? Happy Saturday. Um, so I know of the, I know of the block or of, of the item, but I've never really used it. Um, I don't know which machine it's in. I'm guessing maybe pipe bender, since you pipe into it. Uh, suit storage, what do I need? Copper and silver, both of which I should have. Um, I don't know where my silver is though. Uh, there's my silver and my copper. Um, I was looking through the notes. They've also added uh, polluted water. Um, so, what, what am I doing? So, w as we shower, we create polluted water. We need to clean that water to use it for anything. I don't know what would happen if you tried to drink polluted water. I'm not really going to give it a go. Stars represent food quality. If you eat high quality food, your water meter gets larger, higher than 100%. Ah, okay. So, that was the weird thing I had. That's fine. Um... So by me trying to drink water again, it's reset. Okay, that makes sense. Thank you. So we've got a suit storage. Now I'm thinking that I'm going to make this little room down here a living space because, well, it's a, it's a mess currently, but I'm not really sure what else I would do with this space now we're not using the uh, the deep mining drill. So what I'm going to do is well, let's just have a bit of a tidy up shall we let's get a uh, we'll get a locker or something made and just store everything in there and then we'll look at piping oh uh wait so the suit storage is gonna need access to uh hey jeremy hey peter does anyone know how we use daylight sensor to the window shutters <clears throat> Uh, Jeremy, at a guess, um, I mean, if you're doing it with the non-IC chip way, then you could have um, a reader read the um, the horizontal or the vertical, and like if it's greater than something, then true, else false, and then put that into a batch writer. Um, obviously, the IC way is probably easier, and but everyone else will be able to let you know how to do that. Um, I'm getting confused what am I doing uh, decayed food why have I got decayed food on me what did I have that's decayed oh I was messing with poo wanter that will be why boom uh I am sorry, but we'll have to miss the start of the stream. Real life is a bit sometimes. No, no, that's no worries, Pete. Honestly, it's fine. Um, yeah, real life takes priority, obviously. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, Jeremy, I would go for a go for a logic reader. Read off your daylight sensor. Um, you'll have to have a play with the values. Um, but then, yeah, if you put a um, probably a logic compare. And then you want a memory as well. Set the memory to something. And then your logic compare compares the daylight sensors vertical or horizontal. And just get it to do do that. So if it's true, it'll write a one. And then you can write that one to the open and close of the shutters. Um could always have a look later if we get time. But I need to um have a shower apparently. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. Uh let me get my mining backpack. And let's clear up all this ore. Uh, let's just grab one of these. 
Uh, right, what's the best way of doing this? Oh, I thought the double tap F thing would uh, stack, but it's not doing. That's a shame. Whoops. Uh, put you there. Coal there. Coal there. Uh, ba -doo, ba -doo, ba -doo. Uh, you know what, I, I don't really want to do all this tidying up on stream, but it needs to be done. Um, there's no way of quickly sorting this either, I don't think, is there? Just made a massive, massive mess. Um, if you just remove your suit for the tie being, will slowly go up on its own. Oh, really? What, you can get clean by just not wearing the suit? Um, if I take the helmet off as well. Oh. Okay. So you don't have to have the shower. I guess the shower will just help speed it up a little bit. Uh, well, what I would do then is I will drop that and that. Let's just get this tidied up. Uh, right. How am I looking? So if we get the copper, uh, okay, let's go and chuck that in the furnace. Okay, and let's get another one. Is the furnace on? It is on and it is activated. It is activated, boom, okay. Uh, yeah, Jeremy, apparently so. So you don't have to move your back. You don't have to move, move your uniform either. So I've just dropped my hard suit on my helmet and now I'm increasing hygiene. So, yeah, that's not too bad. Um, okay, so if I do that. You know what I should have probably done is tidied this up before I started the stream. You know, hindsight and all that. Hindsight's a bitch. Uh, right, put you there. Copper, gold. Put that there. Nickel, nickel. Cobalt. Whoops. You there, you there. You go there, silicon, silicon, silicon. Ugh. Now I'm really regretting not doing this before uh, I started the stream. Hoping one more mining backpack and this should hopefully be enough. Uh, right. I wish I could put this into the thingamabob, uh, into the mining backpack. But all I've done is fill my actual backpack up with reagents. Ugh. What I'll do is I will pop those into the silo, because I think I kept it powered. I don't think I disconnected the cable. Um, and let's just do it like this. Uh, where are my tools? Wrench that off. Okay. Whoops. Okay, so if we go do do.
we're almost done. Oh, so my hygiene um, icon has disappeared. So apparently I'm clean as a whistle now. I did see that they were um, to the polluting the polluted water. Um, looks like at the moment it's it's used in like bare minimal stuff. I guess the only thing it's used for is to not be drank. It, it kind of uses your water a little bit, but. Um, They've said that future machines are going to start using it. I know we can use it in the water purifier now to just turn it into standard H2O. But uh, yeah, I look forward to them implementing more. Uh, right, are we about done with all the ores? I think we are. Okay, let me go and chuck these in my thingamabob. And it's full. Fine, just go in there for now. I think my light has just run out, so let's pop you in there. Okay, last bit of tidying, and then we'll start working on our living space. Uh, and you are good. Don't want you, don't want you, don't want you, don't want you. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly take this down. We're going to keep the silo there and I will sort that out another day. Uh, I can't remember. Uh, I think it can go to greenhouse. At least it's not mentioned that it can't. The polluted water. I just don't know what it what it was going to be polluted with. Is it is it its own thing? I assume it's not pollutant. Um, it's a whole new aspect or uh, ingredient or whatever you want to call it. Uh, hand drill. Uh, take the dirty ore. Right, we don't need this anymore. You can go in there. Just get rid of that pipe. There's only a passive vent down there. It's it's literally no. It's, there's no skin off my nose if I just leave it. Uh, right. So if I just tidy this cabling up, don't know what the plan is with it yet. Okay. Uh, is it the hand draw to take this down? It is not. This is the angle grinder. Then now I need the hand drill. Uh, and then I need the crowbar. Boom. <coughs> uh, okay. Right, so the first thing, so this is where I'm going to live. The silo will be going, so just ignore that corner for now. <coughs> um, Right, so I guess what I'm going to do is I will probably create another airlock over here. So if I assume, for example, that block is going to become an airlock, um, this can be where I store my suit storage, where I think... Um, wait, where's my suit storage? Where did I put it? Uh, yeah, it'll be my suit storage. It'll be um, a, a bed. I think beds are a thing. Um maybe we'll move food over there somehow all that kind of stuff where the hell have i put my suit storage oh it's there okay so i know of this i've not really used it um so we know that's going to be a way to the gas room so that's going to be a door so if i pop this here um breathing Propellant, waste, power, and that's logic. Okay. So if I just take you and you. Oh, okay. That was quite nice, wasn't it? Um, right. For starters, we can get power connected right now. <clears throat> so if I do that, do that. Um... I'm going to have to run this along the wall. What am I doing? Like so. Uh, 
I will try my best to remember to put the suit on. <laughs> uh, uh, water filter out the volatile. I don't know if it's volatile, Jeremy. Uh, I think it's its own thing. It's it's just polluted polluted water. So there, I think I've seen that there's a machine um, called a a water filtration unit. I think water purifier. So I think we need to make that pump the polluted water in and out comes clean H2O. Um, the other thing is, it, it says it it uses charcoal. Um, I mean, I don't know why you couldn't just connect it to power, but I'm sure there's a reason. Um, so that should be charging up my battery anyway, right? But yeah, so it's charging my battery, so that's good. Um, I don't really need to rush connecting the air tank and the waste tank right now. What I do need to do though is get a shower. I would like to have a look at that and <clears throat> see how it works. But I'm going to have to, um, it's a long way for the water to go. Although I'm pretty sure I was running it. Yeah, I've got water here, haven't I? So I can just run that just out here all the way into my living area. So let's get some more water pipes. Uh, pipe bender. Uh, liquid pipe. I'm just using standard pipes. I don't need to insulate them from inside the base, so it's fine. Was confused when update stated calls. Yeah, uh, I don't know why. I mean, there'll be a reason. I just. I, I, there'll probably be a scientific reason. I'm just not clever enough to know what that is. Um, oh, actually, before I do this, I want the shower. So I assume it's in here. Kit shower. Silicon. So these seem pretty cheap, which makes sense because these are going to be one of the first things that you're going to have to make on a new playthrough. But I really like the idea that you you now have to have a... When when I first play Station Airs, well, any kind of survival game, you, you get to a point where you're like, well, I've got unlimited food, I've got unlimited power, what else do I need to do? Uh, that's what, that's how I used to think. Now I just enjoy playing the games, like improving things. And I'm really glad they've implemented this system because it means that, obviously, I, I, oh, no, what am I doing? I assume the shower is going to use quite a lot of water. So then you have to have a setup where it has to clean the water and you've got to have the suit storage and all this stuff. You can't just take take the suit off willy-nilly. You've got to keep clean. It just makes requiring a base just a bit more important. Um, why is my furnace off? There we go. Now it's back on again. Uh, is it activated though? I do not think so. Oh, as soon as I try and activate the furnace, it goes off. Plus body gotta breathe. Yep, yeah, plus body gotta breathe as well. But yeah, no, it's it's a nice step in in the right direction. So I'm glad they've done this. Um, luckily, I'm not far off having everything that I need for this anyway. So. I just bring this across. Um, all my poo's in the way. Uh, I'm just bringing it down the middle, uh, just because I think I've got power cables running on the edges, and this will be absolutely fine. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I would like to know how the kit shower connects. Let's have a quick look. Uh, oh, it's... Oh, it doesn't have as much uh, movement. You can't, like, kind of click it around. Like, if I compare that to cable... So cable, you've got, like, one, two, three, four... You've got, like, 25 points within a cube. Whereas the shower only connects to the ends. That's interesting. Um, hmm, okay. I don't see 
a power port. So is it just using plumbing then? Which like, obviously makes sense. Um, where am I going to put this eventually? I think I'm going to put it here. So let me mess with these cables a little bit. quite a lot further off the oh do I want it here uh no it makes sense for it to be over near the airlock doesn't it really like as soon as you come in you get showered off bit of decontamination obviously we're on the moon so there's not much outside anyway what just beeped oh that beeped there is an alternate shower with a power port. Oh, so there's shower powered shower. Is there anything in here? Let's have a look. Doesn't, doesn't tell you anything. Doesn't tell you anything. So they obviously it's brand new, so they're still waiting, aren't they? Um, I don't know. I don't know what the difference would be. Maybe it's something to be implemented at some point. Maybe the non-powered one takes longer to clean yourself. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I wish I didn't have to do that. Uh, I, I wish I could kind of move it in at one. Because uh, it means I'm going to have to put pipes in the queue. I don't really want to do that. So instead... We'll put it over here. Let me just disconnect this. Uh, put the shower here. What does it need? Screwdriver and a liquid pipe. I have both of those things. Okay. And then let's get... I wonder if the powered one just allows logic, so you could, I don't, I, don't, I don't know why you would, but you can get it to turn on automatically. Maybe. Also, as far as I've noticed, you need to fully undress for the shower to work. Makes sense. Um, the other thing I don't really get is how dirty would you have to be to actually need to use the shower like if i can just take off my suit what's the point in that i don't know um okay one thing i'm gonna have to pipes not connected what do you mean pipes not connected of course they're connected Unless there's no water in them. Uh, that is the wrong tablet. Uh, no, I have water. Yeah, there's water in there. So why is it saying pipe not connected? I don't have much water in there. I've got more steam than anything. Uh, I think I need to... Oh, you think it has to have the drain pipe? Uh, okay. Where am I going to drain it? Uh, I guess if I make a small tank of polluted water... Oh no, it seems like a bit of a waste there, doesn't it? Um, let's do the the water purifier. Oh no, because it requires charcoal. I don't want to be messing about with that. Um, so you can make it quicker by pushing... Uh, 
increased gas pressure on the input pipe relative to the gas pressure of the output pipe. Uh, just keep, I'm just going to put a pipe there for now. Oh, look at that. <laughs> so what do we have in there then? That isn't polluted water. Oh, because I'm, I'm not dirty. Okay, don't look. I'm about to get almost naked. I just need to put some stuff in here. Oh yeah, I can't put that in itself. Can I? That would be stupid. Uh, oh, it's dark now. So I just stand here and that's how you would do it. And then let me get my tablet. Oops. Uh, back and that. Where did I put my tablet? I don't remember. It's there. And there's our polluted water. Okay. Uh, yeah, I read that as well. Uh, you can use coal. It just seems a bit, I don't know, like you kind of, you can get to a point on the game where you can almost automate everything. So why would they then create a device that requires a manual input of coal? I don't really know or get it. Um, oh wait, can, does this hydrate me? Nope, it does not. Ah, oh, that's a bit annoying. Um, I did see that they've added the, um, like a water dispenser thingy-ma-bob. Just going to go and see if I've got any coal. I think I might have. I do. Uh, okay, let's make the water purifier. And I've just put my suit back on because I want to see how long it takes for my hygiene to start fl flashing. Um, I need some gold. Gold, gold, gold. <clears throat> Take your time. That's the word. Thank you. Drinking fountain. Not water dispenser. Bloody hell. Y you pretty much know already. I'm quite simple when it comes to words. Uh, right. What a pure. F it has a power port. So why? I, I don't understand why I'm putting coal in. Like, maybe someone who knows more about life can tell me, but realistically, why, how would you purify water without using coal? Is, is this a thing? Uh, I'm going to need some more pipes. I think I've got some over there, though. I'm back, hoping no more call-outs. No, no, not, not a worry, Peter. I mean, thank you for coming at all. I appreciate your time. Um... Okay, I, these are still a work in progress because I can't even ro like rotate the direction of the thingy-mobob. How does it look? The same on both sides. Uh, okay, so let's... Whoops. So if I was to... So what is going to go in... So let's have a look. If I, if I, if I, if I do this... Can you feed the shower wastewater to the plants? Um, I don't know. Uh, I haven't got any plants to test that, but I guess I can do it at some point. We can we can connect a um, hydroponic system here and see how it works. What do I need? Screwdriver and cable coil. <clears throat> I have both of those things. Okay, so it has data on the far end, so this is the power. So if I do that, um, and then what we'll do is, I don't have any more pipes. Um, 
So then we can just reconnect the output back to the input, uh, not to the input of the purifier, the input of the shower. And that's just a nice little cycle. Pretty much all in real life water filters contain activated charcoal. Oh, do they? Okay. See, every day is a learning day. But there must be some way of not using that though, because it's not exactly, oh, I mean, I guess charcoal is technically renewable. <clears throat> um, how am I doing for water anyway? Four liters. That's not bad considering it's connected to all those pipes. Whoop, I pressed the wrong button. That's what I meant to do. 12 pipes should be enough. Right, let's get that connected. Oh, I need some coal as well. Take that. I hope it's not like the generator where you put the coal in and as soon as you turn it on, it will use a, a whole coal. Because this won't last two seconds if that's the case. So if I do it like this. And then bring you back round. So that's pretty much the setup in it, really. Um, so we'll put some coal in. So what will happen? That pipe network's got nothing in it. Eh? Where's my polluted water gone? Has it evaporated? You can purify water by boiling it. Have I just lost the water in here? Uh, okay, one second. Let's try and have a, another shower. Can you put your uniform in this anywhere? You can't. Oh, but you can put things inside your backpack. Okay, that's good. Right. Let's pollute us some water. Squeaky, squeaky, squeaky clean. Squeaky, squeaky. Ugh! Ugh! What happened to my toes? Ugh! The bin chopped off. Right, what's happening in there? Oh, so you don't use much water at all. Um, but yeah, so we've got three litres of polluted water. I turn the shower off. And then if I turn this on, flashing an error. I'll tell you why they, what, what the error is. The error is that it's got no bloody power. Because um, like a noob, I've disconnected it all. Look, that's good, isn't it? I am so clever. Okay, still getting an error, but is it working? Um, no, it's erroring still. This is an ore slot. Well, no shit, Sherlock. Hmm. Yeah, water loss is really low. That's really good. Um, you seem to get quite a lot of polluted water, though, for the... But, yeah, why is this erroring? Because I thought I read in the notes as well you could use coal. Um, I don't even know how to make charcoal on this. By heating biomass biomass in an arc furnace <clears throat> biomass is a material written when food and organic matter is passed through the recycler and centrifuge uh, okay 
So, I mean, that's fine. I have the centrifuge and I have the recycler. So I could put food items in there. Um, hey, up chickens. Can you get in the hole, please? Go on. Way. There we go. Um, and then we'll vend another couple of these. Don't know about you, but that shadow is annoying me. Um, is that because I put this in there? Yeah, that was weird. Okay. I can't really get my food out of there, can I? Um, can we burn in a furnace? So, fuel cycler and centrifuge. So, if I, if I, if I, if I, can you just do it with any kind of when food and organic matter? So, I could use cooked eggs or powdered eggs, should I say? So, let's pop these into our recycler. Huh? How do you make uh Does it have to be like a, a, a proper food? You can't just do anything. Uh that sucks. Um Well for now I'm not gonna worry about it. I mean as between episodes I probably will decorate this room. I do need to get this hooked up, but there's no rush on that really. Um, but yeah, so I've got this anyway, should I need it. But I guess I just need to remember to um, shower. What? Is, uh, food doesn't work, only plants. I didn't expect that. Well, I'm just reading this and it says food is, re is returned when food and organic. Hi, can we just use purge valve to extract water stream from the dirty water tank? Uh, guess so. Haven't tried it. I'll have a bit more of a play with this at some other point. Um, but yeah, I can't see why you wouldn't be able to. Unless polluted water doesn't work in the same way, but I assume it will. But anyway, <clears throat> the only other thing I want to have a look at is this drinking fountain. I want to see how that works. Uh, so that'll be in here as well. Drinking fountain. Put these pipes away. The glasses on. Yeah, it's passive. Save the coal. It doesn't seem to use a lot of water anyway, so there wouldn't be much in there for it to have to process. Uh, right, I'll keep the mining belt on me for now. Let me get my drinking fountain uh, okay so I'm gonna go put this in the living area as well because this will all be nice and livable at some point um, could I put it on the stairs oh, that'll be alright it kind of looks like it's connected so yeah I'm gonna go oh but I need power Ugh. Fine. We won't put you there then. Uh, let's put you. I'm going to put you next to my suit storage here. Uh, we'll just do it there. And wire cutters. And then I just need some more pipes.
Can't even remember why I had that out there. Uh, what am I doing? Pipes. Pipe, pipe, pipe. There we go. How many am I going to need roughly? If I go for about 10. Uh, turn you off as well. That should hopefully be enough. Although it probably isn't going to be enough. Um, oh yeah, it was exactly enough. Device is not powered. What are you talking about? Of course the device is powered. Eh? Hold up, hold up, hold up. What are you talking about? Does the drinking fountain not work yet? Or does it maybe not understand cable junctions? Power switch. What do you mean power switch? What you have to turn you have to physically turn it on and off? Oh oh there is a switch on it. Oh you bloody idiot. Not you, me. Ay ay ay. Oh. How do I? How do I drink it? No, no, I've used all my water. Are you having a laugh? Okay, let me go and put some more on. I've got I've still got some ice water in here, I think, so let's go and chuck that into the system. Hold LMB. I did hold uh I'm sure I did. We'll put some more water in the system because now I've got a lot of uh now I've got more devices using water. <clears throat> So, what? Uh, do, 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 do. Take your time, ice cushion. Yeah, I still haven't cleaned up all these eggs either. So, I need to do all this. I want to get all this decayed food, chuck that into our. Um, Fertilizer maker. I'm using all the big words today. Come on. I hate how slow this is. Warming up there. What's it got to get to for the ice to melt? Currently over 14 degrees. <sighs> Come on, we're waiting. Oh, hang on. Something happened. It dropped back down to 13 degrees. Did you change the setting on the cushion to 275k? So it doesn't have to... Uh, no. I haven't changed no settings on the cushion. I didn't even know... Um... Um...
what would you set it to? The maximum, maybe? Yeah, I didn't know it had a setting either. <laughs> um, but does it not need to get to the temperature for it in order to melt? Uh, I have the device configuration tablet, don't I? Set, yeah, so setting sets 288.15. So if I set that to a lower setting, then it doesn't have to... Okay, wait, your cushion has so much nitrogen in it. Uh, maybe. Maybe I should get that nitrogen out here. Uh, let's go and do that, <clears throat> actually. Yeah, and it's, I know how to write to the um, the setting of the device. I just didn't realize it even had a setting. Um, right, I need to get nitrogen out of this system. Oh wait, no, it's, oh, it's just in the ice. Oh, <sighs> wake up me. Um, wake bloody up. So what I could do is I can just connect the output of the ice cushion to this pipe here. Um, is it this one? I think this one's what's got the nitrogen in it. It's what my propellant uses, right? Yeah. So I can just connect to that and then any extra nitrogen will just go. So what I'll do, let me take off this wall panel. So I just need to get it connected to that pipe. Um, which should be fine. Should be easy enough. Um, Uh, where's the the ice cushion is about here I think is it? Don't really remember. Um, it's been ages since I've taken took these off. The so ice cushion is other side of this wall. Um, so what I can do is I can take that frame out. So let's get some more pipes going. Turn you on as well. Pipe, 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 pipe. Get a few of those going. <clears throat> um. Hold on. What's the best way of doing this? So it's just there. Um, so kind of take it in. If I do it about here. Oh, you. What do you mean? If I do that, I go get some more pipes. Right. Meson scanner. Yeah, I could use the Meson scanner. Uh, but I think I know roughly where it is. But just for the sake of checking, uh, where did I put that chip? Oh, it's already my glasses, isn't it? sensor yeah okay so I kind of wanna oh wait I'm gonna have to go come on so I can take 
those two frames out. Let's go and do that from the outside because I'm all sealed off in here anyway. It should be fine. Yeah, we went so long without the meat on scanner. It's not something I remember either. Um, okay, so if I take this one out and then Oh yeah, this is when I was being a noob, wasn't it? Um, which ones provides liquid pipe connection? Provides pipe connection. Yeah, this was me being a bloody idiot. Uh, right, so if I just disconnect this, this, and this. Um, and do that and then I can just connect that to my gas pipe um, maybe I'll just run it up so it's nice and tidy oh, I can't run it up because of that bloody thing um, there we go Okay, let me turn those glasses off because they're giving me a headache. <laughs> um, and then I want my steel, my welding torch. All sealed again. How are we looking in here now? Oh, there we go. Boom. So I'll just put the rest of my ice water in. And there we go. So nitrogen is being dealt with now. <clears throat> Still got plenty of uh, gas pressure available before it starts releasing it, so that's fine. Um, okay, so I've had my suit on for quite some time, and it's not saying I've got a hygiene problem, so that's good. It's not too ridiculous. Oh, so the paint doesn't pop out. The ingots do though, so if you keep an eye on that gold ingot. Oh, no, it's not happy with that. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I will. So that pops out. I think my pool will pop out, which it does. Ingots though, I'm going to have to shift. Yeah, come on, I need to put my floors back in. Right, steel. Right, one done. You do this. Uh, and you can go in there as well. Do 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 do. Oh, more poop. Steel panel and steel panel. There we go, all back to as we were. Keep the pipe inside the block to prevent cooling. Um, I don't mind the pipe being out too much because it's barely anything. And also if I do leave, if I, so the pipe inside, this should warm up to the base and that's then gonna cool up to the, cool down to the, um, the moon. It's it's almost a bit of active cooling for me, um, because naturally the base just gets hot. So I don't mind it doing that too much. It's not unless the temperature of the base starts dropping dramatically. I'm I'm gonna not gonna worry about that. Did you try the flare gun already? Outside? What? What do you mean? What do you mean, did I try the flare gun outside? Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
What's outside? What, the pipes? Okay, well now we've got the, the shower and... Oh, hang on now, I want to go and test the uh, the drinking fountain, don't I? Oh, I see. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, I understand what to do now. Uh, I've got plenty of water, 25 litres. We have a working flare gun now. Do we? Oh, I saw that there were some tools. I didn't really give them too much of a read, though. But let's have a look. What does the flare gun... Well, I was about to ask what does the flare gun do, but that's quite obvious, isn't it? Flare gun. Oh, let's have a play. Where is the silicon? Where's my silicon? Are you in here? You are not in here. Are you in here? You are in here. There's my silicon. <coughs> ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom. Magazine. Uh, do, what do you do? Press and hold the fountain. Good to know. Yeah. So, if you press it once and it's got no water, you get that bit like it looks like the water's coming out, but doesn't work. Um, do I just put a flare in the in the flare gun? Do I already have a flare, so I don't have to waste? Ah, <gasps> shall we go and see what this does? Yes, definitely outside. Whoops. Oxygen low. Pressure critical. Oxygen critical. Temperature critical. Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> well, and that's just kind of doesn't make sense that it would fall. I mean, I guess there is a small amount of gravity, but... Oh, boom. That is nice. Like, pew, pew. <laughs> Whoa, check that out. Oh, I do like that. Boom. I assume they can't damage your building. <laughs> bounce oh and they bounce off the cladding not very far though oh look at that it's like a nice little night party Pew. i'm well aware i'm wasting my flares but what else am i going to use them for look at that oh if i didn't already have a thumbnail <laughs> The writing's in the sky. <laughs> yeah, I like that. It's nice. Yeah, I don't know why they're just going down, but I guess there is a small amount of gravity. Uh, I'm not sure the parachutes are required. They're a bit overkill. Oh, we've got one more. Can you pick these up? Oh, you can reuse them. Can you? Oh, you can reuse Pick up all the flares. Pick up all... Whoa. Oh, you can knock them out of the sky. Hang on. Ready? Eh. I wonder if... Could I shoot a flare with a flare? No, 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 no. I need that flare. I need that flare. No. Ready? Pew. Ah, oh, I hit a flare with a flare. There we go. <laughs> Let's try it again. 
come get some. Oh, I missed it. What about a moving target? Ready? Ah, yeah. There we go. Oh, they're, they're quite nice. And they just kind of land. <laughs> wow. Anyway, shall we get back to <laughs> actual... Oh, I'm going to show you something as well. So, that down there is not my skull. <laughs> uh, that down there is the skull of my wife. So, I had to... Unless someone could tell me otherwise, you cannot um, get a... You can't get a view of your character from the front. Um, which is a bit annoying. If you try, your character kind of just does this. Way. So I had to use her account to get uh, the thumbnail. But yeah, I don't know why your character feels the need to uh, break his back. But yeah, you can't get a nice view of him. So I had to use my wife to, as the camera. And uh, long story short, I had to drop a body off and there's of stuff. But yeah, I'm not using that. Uh, it's, it's not fair game. So... That's her grave. We will make a grave at some point. If I remember. Uh, okay. Well, that's the flare gun. What were the other tools that we got? There was something else, wasn't there? Um, overalls. China, EU, France. Are they new? All these different overalls? Space pack. Oh, is that the... That's the first one isn't it I think uniform commander oh I don't think I've ever looked through this properly what else do we have the energy pistol oh I saw that they'd um, added a fire extinguisher place her avatar in a cryo tube to keep it alive nah she, I only used it to get the screenshot <laughs> uh, DLC stuff oh is it okay um, fair enough but yeah I've never really looked through here too much mark 2 screwdriver I guess that just helps speed things up but anyway I'm getting a bit waylaid I'm not getting anything done so let me pop these chickens into the hopper come on oh he survived he's survived. He fine oh no he's gone so I want to so we've obviously got our fertilizer, but we need a use for it. So what I want to do is I want to make a start on the farm. Um, and I guess because this is going to be the living space, we can put a door in this window. Uh, obviously, I'm going to have a tunnel go into my gas room. That's going to be another airlock. And then I'm going to have a path over here, which will lead to the farm as well. And... On the moon, that's probably going to be my last main room. Once I've got a farm, um, then I've got pretty much everything, everything I would need to, well, to survive. And at that point, I'm going to say, okay, the moon's pretty much, not redundant, but I'm pretty much done with it. And then I'm going to start looking at the rocket, getting off this rock and going to another planet. I've still got decoration that I need to do. I've still got things I need to work out. Like in here, I haven't got any liquid tanks yet. I assume this is all still okay. It's all just gas. Um, yeah, we're still good. But yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be the plan. Mark two tools are heat resistant. That's the only difference. Okay. Have a high heat tolerance. Bad spelling. So on like Vulcan for example these can't these might just melt in my hand is that what I'm what I'm hearing okay so the farm <clears throat> so I need to get it down a level so we'll have the stairs over here let me go and make some steel frames uh ba -do -ba -do -ba -do -ba -do. It's plenty of steel frames don't have plenty of steel sheets though 12 there. Uh, let's take you, put you in there, put you in there. And I don't know how many steel frames we want. We haven't even got any steel in there. Oh crap, look at all this. Whoops. Uh, we'll just leave that. It's fine. 
Where's my steel? Not in there. Where is my steel? That's silver. I put quite a lot of stuff in here. Is, is it in here? No. Where the hell is my steel? That's lead. Hey Joel, how's it going? Uh, this is currently find the steel at the moment. Oh, found it. I'm good. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Let's split you into. Yeah, we can do 25. We'll do. We'll do 50. I think that's about 100 steel sheets. I think. That is not ice based steel. But yeah, so we'll keep all those going. Let's go and how is my battery in this? Let's get that changed. Uh, yes, Joel, I did. Um, so what I've done is I've piped up all my water. So from here, running all the way this way. This is going to be the living space. I'm going to get rid of the silo, tidy up a little bit. Make this my living space, so I've got my suit storage if I need to. Got me a little uh, drinking fountain. Just have a drink. There we go. And then here's my shower. With the uh, water purifier. Hi, Epsilon. Um, the problem with the purifier is in the patch notes on Steam, it says you can use coal, I think. But you can't use coal. It just flashes an error. So we think you need to use charcoal. And that's something that I haven't got access to right now. So I'm not going to worry too much about it. There's no massive rush for the shower anyway because you can just take your suit off. And that just magically cleans you apparently. Okay. This game looks too complicated. Um, on this Lepsilon, I would definitely... I'd give it a go. It it is it's got quite a lot of complexity to it, but it is well worth it. Um, it's it's not that bad at all. the The most complex thing about it is some of the coding you do in the game. The rest of it, not that bad. Um, I'm still learning, as everyone here will tell you. Uh, because I got in my head up without it on Europa. No med to fix my lungs. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm kind of just, I'm wearing it in the base. Anyway, I'll just take it off if I need my hygiene to drop. Most of the time, I'll probably keep it on, to be honest. Um, okay, so that's going to be stairs. That's going to be that. So if we do there. Oops. How big does the farm need to be? So if I have a door at the top, stairs... Maybe a door there. So we've got one, two, three, four. I'll go to about there. Um, and then let's have a look. So the airlock's going to, well not the airlock, the tunnel's going to be here. So I think I'll go out one more. Okay. Then I want my steel sheets. I don't have enough for this entire platform, I don't think. Uh, steel sheets. Place a trigger plate in the airlock to activate the vent. Um, could uh, 
yeah, I guess it coming in both ways. It doesn't matter if the vent comes on when I'm coming from outside of the base, does it? it that's not going to do anything. If worst case scenario, it wastes a bit of power. Um. But yeah, I mean, to be fair, the only reason I'm even using a manual airlock now is because I'm lazy. Um, I could just use the console, couldn't I, and just have this automatic, but I don't see the point. Oh, crap. Oh, uh, all the steel sheets are everywhere. Yeah, it definitely would work. Um, I th oh, I've just stopped that while there's only one more to make. Yeah, it would work. Um, it'd just be a little bit of power loss because you don't need the vent coming inside. And the trigger plate, I think, uses the entire square, doesn't it? So, yeah, maybe I will. But, yeah, uh, I get what Joel means. I don't think you could use it with two vent uh, with an external atmosphere, could you? Because it wouldn't know which one to to turn on. Okay. So that is that. So that's going to be my floor plan for... Uh, wait, hang on. I need that there, that there. Uh, what else do I need? What else do I need? What else do I need? I want a grinder. I want a grinder. So that will be stairs, but it still needs to be airtight underneath. Okay. So that's going to be a plenty big enough farm, I think. And then for the roof um, I think I'm going to I don't need it to be as tall as that there's no point in wasting uh, too much space is there so if I went to kind of like that for a height I guess that'll be okay um, but I don't want to use frames because I want to get the sunlight coming in So we need to go get some proper walls. Um, that'll be tunnel. Power is not doing great, but I'm just going to walk past and ignore it. It's fine. I think I've got loads of walls. I'm pretty sure I have. Uh, oh, I want those. Yep, those. Any more? 28. There's another one, 29. Oh, and then there's a full stack. Very nice. We are going to need a plastica. More plastic. And do I have any glass? Um, I'll take all this plastic. I'm not seeing any glass, so let me get some of that made as well. Uh, glass, 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 glass. Uh, it's a bit annoying that I've done this with the silicon, but it's my own stupid fault. Doodly -doo, doodly. Oh, yeah, this working yet? Yeah. Are you going or not? Yes, it's working now. I don't know why it wasn't before. I've got no idea. Get some more chickens. Whoops. Got so much food. Oh, uh, my glass. Uh, 
okay, so let's go and see if that's enough for us to build our greenhouse. Or our white house is what it's going to be. Oh, that battery's almost dead. But I'm still just walking past and ignoring it. Okay, uh, so this is a whole thing is just going to be windows, I think. Is going to be a, a safe bet. Uh, wait, what? What am I doing? Square it off. Uh, get. Nope, didn't mean to press that button. Get the welder. Okie dokie. Um, windows. It's going to get very warm in here. Hopefully, our base cooling is sufficient enough to deal with it. <coughs> Bloody windows. Okay. And now let's chuck the plastic sheets on. If I recall, well, yeah, so the reason we don't have any crops growing yet is because we had an issue with CO2. I'm hoping I've got a quite a nice backup of that now. Um, I just don't know if it's going to be to the base temperature, so I need to go and double check it. Might have to chuck some radiators on it to get it cooled down. Okay. Oh, just that one as well. And then here, what I'm going to need to do is maybe I'll just do this as walls. Um, so if I just do it like, if I do it like that. Oh no, 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 no. I don't, I don't know why I'm doing that. Ignore me. I'm having a moment. Let's not do that. We will still go windows. It's a greenhouse after all. Greenhouse, make it too high for further Harveys. Um, does it have to be too high for the Harveys? I've never used them. I don't. I don't know. I'll take your word for it because I, I don't know. Um. What a surprise, it's something else that I haven't done. I wasn't gonna, I, I guess it makes sense. I wasn't going to automate the farm. I was just gonna make a food supply and it would give me something to do to kind of come and do the harvesting every now and again. But you know what, it'd be nice to try and learn all the basics while I'm here. Um, so let's get rid of this. It's going to need a lot of gas to pressurize this place now, isn't it? And that's already too high, so that's fine. I don't think I'm going to have enough windows. Uh, 
Uh, okay. No, I'm definitely not going to have enough. I need two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. I need another fourteen. So I might as well go and get those producing now. Harvest are not basic, basic. Trust me, but a lot of fun and handy when they work. When they work, so they're okay. Uh, what am I doing? Where's my steel? Remind me where my steel has gone again. Oh wait, I split it over here. Do I even need steel for the wall? I don't know actually. Can't remember if it's just silicon. Cancel. Right, wall. <clears throat> and it's the kit wall we're using, isn't it? Yes, it is steel. Okay. Let's go and eat some more powdered eggs. Because that's all we eat. I look forward to uh, getting some soybeans so that I can actually produce canned eggs that would be much better than this. Oh, no, that's enough. Don't need any more, actually. Four, five, six, seven, eight. What do I need? Fourteen. Uh, how much silicon do you have inside of you? Let's get you some more. We're going to want lots and lots of glass. Eleven, twelve... 13 14 Oh yeah, glass Make all the glass you can muster Please That's going to be what? 52? Whoops uh, 52 panes of glass That should be hopefully enough I just love how quick this jetpack is Look at that Stop! Okie dokie. Now the plastic. This is the tedious part of the game, isn't it? Just the building, having to put each individual uh, ingredient piece, component, whatever you want to call it. Come on. Down, 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 down. Did the, um, I don't know if anyone watching is uh, played with the update, but did anyone get caught by surprise with the storms working again? I know Void mentioned, that, oh, I think it was Void, in Discord that he uh, was practicing with the Amy and now the storms are back, that makes it a bit more difficult. Or were you all just prepared for the storms to work again. Okay. Uh, now I want some glass. Is it two per? Oh, no, it's only one. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so you're all good on this first floor. Let's just do over here. Right, now for the second part. Okay. 
Come on. Right, we'll get some more of that glass. And then once this is sealed, I think we'll be able to pop it open. I just need to go get some more oxide to, to be able to repressure the base. One and one. Not surprised. Was too slow to save Amy. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, Void was saying earlier that the the deep drill has kind of made the Amy's a little bit obsolete, which is a bit of a shame. Um, still something I think I would like to learn how to program though, just so I can say that I've done it. But I think I'm going to save that for when I go onto a planet with atmosphere. Okay, now I've just got to do the ceiling. Uh, do, 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 do. All uh, right, I can see some oxide, so I'm gonna have to go grab some of that in a second. I don't think I have any. Oh, is that it? Is that sealed now? Okay, so that should. Oh wait, nope, 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 nope. Still haven't done this bit. One, two. Did I do that bit there? I did. So that should now be a sealed box. So I'm going to go and quickly do some mining. Um, where is my drill? My drill is there. Whoops. Right, I'm not going far. Uh, I just want to get some of that oxide that I saw. And more flat ground. Amy loves to find ways to get stuck. I, so I, I, I mean, I don't know, but I assume you don't like program specific paths. She's designed to um, just locate ores and she'll just go in any direction to find it. Just want to get plenty of this oxide. Because we are going to lose um, some of the pressure in the base when we do this. Do, ba do, ba do. Any more oxides? I don't see any. Oh, wait. I can see something over there. What's that? That's just water ice. We don't need that right now. Look at the speed of this jetpack. This is so much better than the original one. I gave up and used mix. Is it that complex? I mean, it'd be, it'd be nice to say you've done it yourself, but I assume it's quite, quite intensive. But yeah, I won't have a look, I won't have a play with all the things. So once I've gone to a different planet, of one of the flat ones, I'll uh, I'll give Amy a go, even if it is a little bit redundant. I 
Okay, I think that will just about do. Let me just double check down here now because I've seen it. I want to grab it. <clears throat> okay. All right, let's get back to base, wherever that may be. Uh, oh, big orange thing over there. You can't miss it. Hey. I've been in my suit a long time now and it hasn't complained about my hygiene so what is that oh that's the uh, temperature thing in my bob right let's get inside let's pop that cube open and let's get some of this ice pot on the floor shall we <clears throat> I'm thinking I should probably put a door on this just to give each compartment its own separate airspace in case one part fails. Okay, so that shouldn't be escaping anywhere. Let's put that away so I don't do it accidentally. So this is all sealed. All sealed. Okay. Let's chuck some ice on the floor. Let's get some proper pressure in here, shall we? Pressure is building, so... Pressure. Pressure's still too low, so that's fine. We'll wait it out. Yeah, pressure's building, so that's fine. So I've definitely got all the glass. And we can now breathe in here, so that is all very good. Let's pop this window open as well, just help it balance a bit quicker. Yeah, we're booming. Uh, let's drop another couple. Try and build the, eye, uh, the pressure up in here. And I now need to go and make some, is that melting? Yep. Yeah. So I'm going to go make some steps so that we can get in and out of the greenhouse from that direction a little bit easier. Which I think is done in this one. Stairs. I need some iron. Uh, where is my suit? There we go. Let's let some CO2 in the base. How do I still... 25 litres of water and it's still in yellow. Just never happy. Uh, right. Stairs are going in here. Like so. Let's get rid of this window. Uh, angle grinder, please. And that will become a door at some other point. Same with this one over here. So crowbar. And angle grinder. Okay. <clears throat> so luckily we've got access to our water quite easily. Let me go and get um, the hydroponics that I currently have. I don't think it's many, and I don't think they're in here. Pretty sure they're in this locker. Uh, what else have we got here? Liquid radiators, pipes, we'll take... <gasps> I found my tablet! I found my original tablet. It was in this bloody locker all along. What a waste. Uh, right. So hydroponic trees. Um, okay, so I don't... How much space does a... Um, a thingamabob do? Use? 
uh, what did you call them? The Harvey. Do they need like a whole cube? I assume. So is it going to be like, is it every other or is it every other other? Or no, every other other other. Use the hydro device and fill in with normal hydropods. What? What does that mean? What's a hydro? I don't know what that is. Oh, hydroponic device and fill in with normal hydropods. Oh, wait. Why? Is there another one? Oh, use the hydropod and fill in with normal hydropods. Is it every other then? I uh, need the wrench. So that connects to data so is it like that and then ah you know what I'll work it out um, and then we'll just put these in the middle put one of those there I have no idea if this is the right kind of setup needed for this but it's what we're going with. You need the data if you want to use the Harvey. But I don't know how much space the Harvey uses. Does it need, like, is it a, is it a whole cube? Uh, you know what, I'll go and make one. I'll go and see how much space it actually needs. If I can make them, that is. Is it done in here? Uh, Harvey. Oh. Copper, steel, electrum, solder, and silicon. Just put all this just in here. I know I don't need any of this for that, but at least it's tidy. Uh, right, copper, steel. So I've got loads of copper. Steel, I think steel I've got in here. There's my steel. Electrum. Solder and silicon. Solder and silicone. Boom, make me a Harvey. Just want to see how it works. So I'm going to assume each hydroponic device has to connect to a Harvey. There's, there's not going to be any kind of batch writing here, I would assume. Because you want each one to work independently. Um. Or I might or is there a simpler way of doing that? Apparently a hundred and fifty four days have passed and I've survived a hundred and seventy without dying. That math doesn't add up, does it? Oh, okay, so Oh, so it's just every other then. That's fine. Requires hydroponic tray below. Right, got you. Okay, understood. So I don't need these pipes. Um, and then one, two, three, four, five. So we've got normal that one, normal, that one, normal. Yeah. You can batch name right, but not one command for all. Perhaps go at different speeds. Hey, uh, I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your first name. Masin Ninja? <laughs> um, it is quite a complex game, but it's really 
it is really worth your time if you've if you've got if you've got a, a computer that can run it i would definitely give it a go um you, you can lose so many hours on this game um right so harvey can go up here don't know how these guys work so it's got data and power at the top um, and let's see oh the cables are going to be quite ugly aren't they uh, if I just do it like this and then I'll be able to hide the cable in the wall Bring it down here. Like so. Okay, and then we can just do this. Okay, so if I can get at least one of these working, I'll be happy. I don't know if my PC will be able to. I just got a new one for free from someone who was going to get rid of it. Um. You can always, yeah, I mean, have a look at it. I don't know what the specs are, but have a look at the game. If it, I would definitely have a look at some videos before you put your money and just see if it's something you're interested in. But then, yeah, it, it's definitely, I mean, it's a game that I enjoy. Uh, I think quite a lot of people enjoy it. Um, okay, so obviously that's not powered yet. Um, what's our atmosphere looking like in here? We don't have anywhere near enough CO2, so let's go and see how our CO2 is looking. We must have quite a, a large amount now. Uh, which one is CO2? The first one. Oh, we've got loads, but it's just way too hot. Um, I mean, to be fair, I am using an insulated tank, so it's not going to lose its temperature. Um, ba -do, ba -do, ba -do, ba -do. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, I think I'm going to have to put some radiators on to get that cooled down, because that's way, way, way too warm. Um... Let's go for uh let me get a spanner. Oh yeah, that should run uh station is I would have thought, definitely. Let's 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 we'll just build a bring a pipe uh vertically. And we'll just chuck some radiators on that. It's obviously a wasted, um, wasted insulated pipe. So for what I'm doing, but is what it is. <clears throat> Let's chuck this on here. We should start seeing that temperature come down rapidly. I would have thought, or it'll just go really slow. I'm just trying. I'm going to try those other ones because I found that they were quicker last time as well. I mean, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I know, I know that these are the right ones to use inside, but just check these ones, just for my own sanity. Three thirty. Yeah, the other ones are loads quicker. Okay, fine. You guys are right. Uh, don't know why I doubt it. Don't know why I had to test it. You already told me this multiple times. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, so, um, my acid um it's a i'm i mean yeah so this is episode 14 what you're seeing here is taking quite a long time each episode is 
I don't know, two to three hours long. Um, and I am not the most knowledgeable on the game. Um, I mean, everyone watching, all my subscribers have kind of helped me get to where I am with this game, to be fair. Um, so, yeah, I mean, feel free to watch. Hopefully you get something out of them. Basically, I'm learning, so hopefully you'll, you'll find it helpful. But there are other people out there who you could also watch if you need to. Um, but, yeah, the apparently... And I, Again, this is I'm on the moon, so there's no atmosphere outside. But people are saying that the moon isn't the easiest planet. As Peter said, Mars is quite nice. I think it's got an atmosphere um, ideal for growing plants. I don't know about the temperature, but the actual mix is fine. But yeah, just have a go. Just kind of delve in. and uh, Feel free to ask in the chat if you've got any questions, because everyone here is really helpful. And they all seem really knowledgeable. Uh, right, so I'm going to let that, I'm going to go get some more radiators, because that's not doing it at the temperature that I would like it to. Um, I want it to be much, 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 ah, no, this jetpack's too powerful, no, there we go. Okay, so let's do this, and then, so if I go and get another few radiators really get this carbon dioxide cooled down okay uh, let's have a look let's have a look uh, radiators uh, and we want the pipe radiator gold and steel Uh, hi, Bajoran. Uh, but there's another friend, happy help. Oh, thank you. Um, I'm sure uh, my acid ninja will appreciate that too. But yeah, there's plenty of people, uh, such as yourself, Peter, Void, and everyone else as well. Exo normally comes on. Uh, there's John. Uh, Joel, yeah, just basically anyone on this chat. Um, yeah, they're all really helpful. I'm sure they'll be more than happy to help because that's all they tend to do for me. They probably get sick of it, to be fair. Uh, steel, 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 steel. Right, let's get some more red eaters. I want to probably do this in multiplayer, right? Um, it's not... I don't think it's optimized properly for multiplayer. Um, I mean, obviously, you can play with other people if you want to. Um, but yeah, I mean, try it in single player first and see what you think. Uh, what did I come in here for? B. Durant, did, is it is it optimized now for multiplayer? Cause I remember there was a time when it wasn't. Um, but has it got has it gotten better since? Excuse me. Oh, this bloody jetpack. Yeah, 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 uh, Right, you and you, you, you. Oh, is it? Okay. I remember some people saying that uh, Splitsy had got a corrupted save, but I'm going to assume that was more about what they were building as opposed to the actual multiplayer aspect of it. Three hundred and fourteen. Try using the convection radiators. I thought these were the better. Oh no, these are the better ones for vacuum, aren't they? Right. 
Uh, if I put one there. Look at you going completely overkill on these radiators now. High. What? Temperature high? Oh, is that because of my jetpack? Oh, no, it's the radiator, isn't it? Releasing the heat. We're on 304 degrees. Okay, that's coming down quicker. We'll leave it like that. It won't take long. This place was running Terraform mod and crashed if... Oh, okay. Got you. Yeah, yeah. I think I, I think I remember them saying that, but they ended up just building that. I think they had multiple bases outside, and then they started building one inside the mountain, didn't they? Um. Um. Right. So I need to get water over here. What's that? Pipe radiator liquid. Uh, this isn't going to work with this cable. Let me just change this out. Whoops. Uh, some memory leaks, so if you run a dedicated server, you should program it to restart every now and then. But if you do play base hosting, it really is an issue. Okay. Good to know. Uh, right, I need to get some water pipes. Let's get that connected up to the water. I'm going to have to sort something out with this because the furnace keeps tripping. No, look, it's tripping out. I seem to try and turn it on. So, yeah, I need to sort that out at some point. Uh, more pipes, please. Um, I haven't really got anything else to do whilst I'm waiting for the pipes. Let me just check my suit battery. Still good on the old... F oh, I've used my entire nitrogen filter. Um, that can go in there. Oh yeah, I never figured out what this was, did I? But I need to put those into uh, the centrifuge, don't I? Right, hopefully that'll be enough pipes. So let's turn you off, turn you off. You know what, let's turn some of this stuff off. So I don't need that on. Uh, don't need you on. Let's see if I can activate the furnace again. So it's on. No, it's just tripping off. I'll sort it. I will have to. How do I put glass in the windows? Um, so if you've just started for the first time, I'm guessing you're using the... Um, iron walls so if I have any I think I might have scrapped them all actually but basically you first need to use a so this is what you what I assume you're putting down so you scroll and then obviously you can pick your different things so you want to scroll until you can pick your window and then when you look at it with a tool so any tool it will tell you here in the window so to start with you need an iron sheet so if you get an iron sheet you apply the sheet first and that's your frame to the window and then what you can do is if you get your glass you can then put your glass pane in and that's how you do your window so whenever you're placing anything whether it's a machine or anything um, just point at it with a tool and it will tell you exactly what you need I'm just going to take this down now because it's it's in my base. 
grinder. I should probably get rid of these iron windows. I'm not using them anymore. Um, right. <clears throat> so let's get this. Where's my nearest water pipe? So I've got a water pipe in here. But I've also got a water pipe in... Uh, no, actually, it's probably easier for me just to run it through here, isn't it, I think? And this is my clean water pipe. So if I get my wrench, I can just run it straight down. And I'm going to need some more. So let's go do some more. And then I'm hoping by the time I've done... Why am I getting this constant airflow? Oh, it's because of the temperature in here. The wall coolers are not keeping up. I could drop some more oxide in here, kind of just to help cool that down a little bit. Let's do that. Um, right. What do I need? What do I need? What do I need? Uh, more pipes. Uh, you know what? Have the ice as well. Screw it. Cool this place down. I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to add, add some more wall coolers to the base. I think. Apart from the tools needed, some things will require welding it. The world remember to turn it off to save gas again. Yeah, uh, my answer ninja. If you're unsure about anything, if you press F1, you get this stationpedia, and you can search for anything. So you can search for like the welder, uh, if you can, if I can spell welder, and it will give you information in here. I can't remember what the first welder is called. So it's not called welder. Um, but yeah, just you can use this for kind of in-game help if you need it. But then obviously, any other questions, just ask. Uh, right, so if I bring you to here. So for now, I'm just going to connect this using pipes, but at some point I will replace those with more hydroponics. There we go. Okay, so we've got water and we've got this end one that's going to be connected to the Harvey just so we can test how it all works. Where is my tablet? Okay, so we've got a temperature of 13 degrees in there. We've obviously got our water in there, which is absolutely fine. It's taken a while for it to flow. It's warm, so it's currently evaporating in there. But it should be okay, I think. As soon as the temperature in this place drops considerably. It's way hot over here. Look at this. You know what? I'm on 133 degrees in here. Jesus. Uh, okay, you know what? Let's get this door closed because it's bloody burning the rest of the base up. Um, I don't have, I can't do that actually because my calling. Uh, I need to put more wall callers in. How easy is that going to be though? I mean, it's not going to be that difficult really, is it? It's not power efficient in the slightest I mean I could create some power uh, well I could create some passive cooling I guess or I just chuck the heat outside which might be the better idea let's do that because this is uh, cooking the base Okay, okay. Turn you off, and let's take some of that pipe down. Can 
Okay, let's chuck this outside. Um, hydration critical. Oh, okay, we'll go and sort out our hydration, shall we? It's only... Yep, I know it is bloody hot. Like seven, six degrees hot in here now. Okay, let's go and chuck the radiators outside. Right, where's it come out? Stop, 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 stop. Uh, I thought I... Stop. It's just there between those two. There we go. So if I bring... I'm just going to bring this out as an ugly long pipe just to get the carbon dioxide cooled. Uh, there's nothing nice looking about this. Hunger, caution. Stop complaining about things. Okay, so hopefully that will stop leaking heat into my base. How far have you come with your gases? If you can fill a canister of N2, you can just get an AC and set it to 25 degrees or whatever you want. So I have a source of, uh, well, not a source. So I've got a nitrogen in this system here. Um, if I, um, so yeah, I've got nitrogen feeding from my ice crusher that comes into here <clears throat> and then I'm just getting rid of it. But yeah, I guess I could feed that into um, um, an aircon. I'm not really doing anything other than storing the gases at the moment. I do have uh, nitrogen in here though, it's this one. Currently 138 degrees. If you can fill a canister of enter, you can just get an AC and set it to 25 degrees or whatever you want. I mean, that's probably not a bad idea. Um, what's my CO2 on at the moment? Because I'm still just running off the cooling that we set up back in the first live stream we did. So this is my cooling for my entire base, which obviously is not satisfactory right now. Um, but I guess I could have an emergency aircon unit. Uh, wait, what's this? Uh, my oxygen tank is about empty. So let's sort that out. There we go. Um, do I have an atmospheric kit anywhere? Uh, I don't think I do. Oh, I do. Atmospherics. Um, I just don't really know how the aircon works. Um... Does it just pump in cold gas and output hot gas? Is that how? Is that what it does? It stores the heat into the gas. Is that right? Um, air conditioner. Raise or lower the input gas temperature. The unit has three pipe connections: input, output, and waste. Gas fed into the input will be heated or cooled to its target temperature, while the opposite will happen to gas on the waste network. Multiple efficiency multipliers can affect the amount of energy. It's going to be viewing the unit's green information panel. Between the input and waste increases the temperature difference. The input or waste temperature is extremely hot or cold. Pipe pressure radiators may be useful in bringing extreme pipe temperature back towards normal world temperatures. Uh, okay. So I pump a hot gas in and it should cool it for me. Well, it'll, it'll add heat to the waste gas. Is that right? 
and which I then vent outside. I'll have a look at that at some other point. Um, because I want to kind of get the farm working, although it's way too hot now. Cancel into you can just get an AC. Oh no, we'll do it now because I don't want to wait around forever. Um, so let's just put. I'm gonna place it somewhere for now. Uh, where can I put my aircon unit? I don't know where to put my aircon unit. Uh, two pass event on import and output. Fill the waistline with some N2, bring it outdoors with a radiator. Oh, I see how I see what you mean, I see how it works. Okay. Got you. Um I could put it it's not ideal there, but it can go there for now. Um what do I need? Uh, I need two pipes for construction. Let's do this. Got a 17 there, that'll do. And then I need screwdriver and cable coil. I've got no cable. Cable. Uh, hang on, let's increase this stack size to 20. There we go. Um, so if I set that to, whoops, set that to 25. So this is kind of like my emergency need to get rid of heat setup. So you're saying I use two passive vents. So if I go input, output, and vent it to the output. He the AC will exchange heat between input and waste ports and vent it to the output. Okay. So if we do I've got must have some passive vents somewhere. Or at least I thought I did. Ah just make some more, it's fine. <clears throat> Uh, vents. Just need two of those. Boom and boom. Oh, nope. Turn you on. Give me my vents. And I assume the reason we're using nitrogen is because it's naturally cold. Is that right? Uh, this is going to look terrible. Uh, so if we do that. So ignore where that is right now. It's uh, obviously not in a great place. Best is obviously to place the vent on the opposite side of the room. But just place vents on those pipes and it's fine. Oh, because by doing them this close together, you risk obviously the same gas going in and out, I guess. Um, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, let me fix that now because we want this to work pretty sharpish. I don't want to be hanging around. I want to get my farm up and running. Uh, no, that's fine actually. Three, two, one. There we go. Uh, not you, I want you. So if I do that, that should be enough space between them. I don't know why you use nitrogen, CO2, and pollutant or better coolants. Um. Well, I'm, I've, I haven't really got any spare pollutant, have I? I have got CO2 though, but obviously it's uh, still pretty hot. Oh no, it's practically down now. Um, I'm, I'll, I'll 
yeah, I'm not sure why not. I'll use night stream because it's easy. But then I need to do some research of the gases myself and try and figure out what's best to use and whatnot. Um, I need another canister. If I had a stand for pollutant, I would use that. But I don't have it right now. No, you're using N2 because it's most likely will not go to liquid. Oh, because, okay. There it goes. So I've got my nitrogen. So all I need to do is connect that to a canister thingy, my Bob. Um, which I think I have a. I had a bloody canister there, never mind. Oh, it's this, isn't it? I need the pipe utility. Pipe utility. Uh, that was the reason we used O2 in your beginning cooling loop. If the CO2 goes liquid, you will have issues with N2. The system can bot heat and cool room, and it's easy to set up and just leave there. Okay. I forgot we used CO2 in the war cooling. We originally went polluting, didn't we? But it, then it popped. Wait, is that what we did? I don't remember. Um, right, if we pop you in there. Get some more pipes. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, right, do that, do that, do that. Uh, how many pipes am I going to need? About six or seven. Let's see if seven's enough. It probably isn't. Oh, it is. Look at that. Uh, and then I'll obviously need to connect that to radiators on the outside. Um, it did pop with X and now it's filled with O2. Yeah, I re yeah, I, re I recall it popping. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough, see. Um, right, make some more pipes. While I'm waiting for those, because we might as well get a bit of a stock of pipes coming in. Let's go and wire up the air conditioning unit. This is going to be... I'm not going to automate this into anything, because this isn't really a uh, priority right now. I'm going to use this as like a, a manual like emergency cooling system. Uh, is that already... Do that. Uh, you know what? I forget about these bloody glasses. There we go. Look. Okay. Let's turn you off. Oh, it's too hot in here. It's getting hot in here. I'm leaving my clothes on. I've had my suit on for ages and I've not had to uh, take it off to sort out my hygiene, which is quite good. The AC is fully automatic as it is. Yeah, but isn't it really power hungry though? Like it's going to use a lot of power, right? Um, whereas they obviously only come on as and when they're needed. Or is it not as bad as I'm thinking? I've got to sort out my inventory. Let me just get rid of some of this rubbish. Look at all this in here. Don't need you. Don't need you. Don't need you. Can you go up there, please? Okay, 
let's get you turned off. So I've got three radiators. Um, the greater the temp difference, not really. Right now it will obviously use a lot, but when the temp is more normal, you just leave it on. Okay. Right, let's uh, bring this out. And it's the one, two, three, four. Okay, hopefully, if I go and turn the aircon on, that should start cooling this base down a little bit. So if I have a look at this. Oh yeah, so it's chucking plenty of heat into there, which is What's happening? Is the problem here that I've created a bit of a wind tunnel or is that as quick as it's going to work? What for temperature have I got? 71 degrees. Does that need to be further over that way? This vent? Maybe. I mean, it is working, it's just not very quick. Or I need to try and keep the temperature difference between this and the room much higher, don't I? It needs to be a, a larger difference so we can cram more heat in. It is working. Yeah. So I'll just leave that. It, it'll, it'll do its thing. And then I guess eventually this will stop once it hits 25 degrees. Then those wall coolers over there will take over. Um, okay, so as for the farm. Let's see. So obviously it's, gonna, it's too hot in here. That's a given. Um, they're going to need sunlight. Let me grab a potato seed. I've got plenty of seeds. Actually, you know what? There's no point in me planting that because it's obviously just going to die into it. Is this working yet? No. My furnace doesn't work anymore. And I think it's just because I've got so much power. What if I turn the lights off? Turn this fridge off as well. Nope. Okay. That's fine. It's not cramming any more heat into that pipe though. Or am I just venting it out as the same speed as I'm putting the heat into it? What was the temp we set the original coolers on? Um, they, they bring it, so I think once it hits 22. Um, when it hits 22, they turn on until it gets to 18. I'm pretty sure that's what we did. Um, where's my laptop? And I can double check that. Pretty positive it was. Um, uh, we had it set to, it turned on at 295. Uh, 
wall coolers have to be set higher than the AC? Why do the wall coolers have to be set higher than the AC? Wall coolers don't seem to be like they work. Uh, the wall coolers are working. The problem is it's a very, very high temperature in here. Um, so they, um, like, look, at the moment, look, they're going off. Wait, what? <gasps> Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. My entire base has gone offline. I have no power. Oh crap. Where is. AC doesn't only cool, it will heat as well. Oh, will it? Oh. Okay, that's good to know. Um, well, I have a slight, how's the this still on? This isn't, this is get to a, mm, yep, power is out. <laughs> uh, the sun's coming back up, but the, the air con's obviously taking me over. The, and this is going to be why, um, this is why the furnace is having such problems. We finally got to a point where power is not great. <clears throat> Let's uh, save on power throughout the base. If I've got anything else on that I don't need on, we could turn you off. Um. Anything in here can be off as well. Let's build up some more power. So how many wall coolers you need for a 4x4 room? Wall coolers probably aren't the most efficient. So the reason I have the wall coolers uh, is because I was, at the time of putting those up, I was trying to learn AC, um, the IC10 coding, the MIPS coding. Uh, realistically you can probably just passively cool your base um, use glasses use glasses for what that um, but yeah so I mean I don't know how many wall coolers you'd need for a 4x4 room you'd probably I need a lot more than just these two these two wall coolers worked fine when I didn't have the gas room and I didn't have this corridor and I always didn't have the farm. All I had was this room and my workshop. But as I've been building the base up, um, I've, I've kind of neglected the cooling. So now what's happened is because I've radiated the CO2 heat into the room, uh, the wall coolers are still playing catch up and it's just going to take them a long time. But they, they do work. Um, as long as the temperature speed at which it increases is quite slow. But yeah, for, I mean, I, I don't know. If you've got the power requirements we needed for all, as many wall coolers as you want, then maybe, um, I don't know, maybe add a wall cooler every couple of squares. Yeah. That that's that's the issue with the cooling. I tried to cool three hundred and thirty degrees CO two. Yeah, that was that was my dumb. But it's fine. We're recovering off it. We're on fifty nine degrees now, so it's going down. Uh, does it help to add a transformer? So, I used to use APCs, but everybody told me to stop using APCs. Um, the transformer you can set it to only allow a certain current through. And it's it's the APC, I think, will just feed whatever is required off it. So you'll still blow cables, I think. But yeah, I use transformers to, to kind of convert my heavy cable, which is all my solar panels, which are feeding into my batteries, then heavy cable out of those into my transformers. And then the transformers convert that into less than 500 kilowatts. Uh, sorry, 5 kilowatts. Um, but yeah, as for the wall coolers, you just kind of put in whatever you need. Just bear in mind they are power hungry. 
So just have uh, power behind them <clears throat> and you should be fine. But yeah, you can also, uh, I mean, you can passively call basically this system that I've got here, the aircon's obviously using this, but what you could do is if, let's imagine the aircon wasn't here, connect radiators to this pipe. Because I'm on the moon, I can vacuum the, the heat out I and mean, then I could put a valve on here so that when the temperature in my base hits a certain temperature, the valve opens, allows the hot gas to be able to travel through and vent out the heat when the temperature is below a threshold, close the valve. So there's multiple ways of cooling. I'm currently using, well, three versions of it. APC splits the data and charges battery transformer limits the power output. Yep, what Peter said in less words than I said. And his words make more sense than mine. Temperature high. Uh, right. I need you to fill my water up. <clears throat> right, see, so that's that sorted. I do need to go and get some food. Thought transformers increase power output. No, you, you would use a transformer to limit the output. Um, I mean, I don't know if they go... Well, these ones, I don't think, go above 5 kilowatt anyway. I don't think. Um, there are larger ones. But yeah, you'd use a transformer to reduce the amount of watts traveling through your cable. Uh, right, what are we on? Oh yeah, let me close my helmet. Uh, 52 degrees. I guess I could turn the wall coolers off, but they're, uh, they, 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 they're helping a little bit, aren't they? I, once the aircon gets the temperature down, then I'll turn them off. At the moment, they're probably helping it run a little bit quicker than it would do without the wall coolers. Um, okay, what else do I need for my farm? Because it's 70. Oh, bloody hell, it's half past. Or you, or you can use a calculation error with the transformers to get free power, but that's not what they are meant to do. You can use a calculation error with the transformers to get free power, but that's not what they... Oh, can you? There's a little bit of a bug, is there? I assume that's a bug. Just set the AC to 21 degrees and all will be fine. Why 21 de Uh, Whoops. So this will heat and cool, will it? So because they're set to 21... Uh, so if the temperature got to 25, the wall coolers would still be going, but then this... Oh, I see what you mean. Because it would be it would be twenty five degrees, so this would be happy, but then they'd still be cooling. It would hit twenty four, for example, and this would be like, hey, it should be twenty five. So it starts trying to pump more heat in. Not sure where it would be getting the heat from though. But meh. Yeah, be, everyone else knows more than I do. <laughs> um. Okay, so I want to. I'm going to put a potato down, um, and I want to see. Apart from the temperature, is everything else okay? Atmosphere is too hot. Well, on the plus side, it's not complaining about anything else. So water temperature is fine. We've got plenty of water in there. Wait, no, we haven't. Yes, we have 17.5 litres. Does water not travel through these? Oh, my tablet's gone off. Oh, I thought the waste pack was just an output. Okay. Understood. Uh, 
Uh, right then, so once it's cool, we're at 65 degrees, it's going to take a very long time. Um, but I'm not going to worry about that now, to be fair. It's going to take a while to cool down, so I'm going to leave that. Um, you know what? It's been, I've been playing this two and a half hours, and I feel like all I've done is make a shower and heat my base up. Oh, I guess we did build the greenhouse, which didn't take that long, really. Um, what's the best temp for waste gas for the AC? I assume, well, I mean, because I'm using it for cooling, I'm just venting it out to vacuum, so it's just going to be as cool as possible for me, I guess. And then I, I think the hotter the base gets... So if the difference between the base, uh, okay, let me let me try and talk normal rather than using all these random words. The higher the te the difference in temperature, the better the aircon will work. I use nitro for waste gas, but keeps freezing. Uh, how can it? Uh, oh, I don't know. Someone else will be able to answer you because I don't know what I'm talking about half the time. <clears throat> um, okay, guys, I think I'm going to call it because I just need the base to cool down. Um, once it does, I'll work on this, getting this farm and uh, up and running. I need to do something with power. If you place transformers in power low, you get free power. So two transformers, you get two, twice the power you have on the input side. Take one coal generator, four mean transformers. Take one coal generator, four medium transformers, set to 25 kilowatts, and you get 80 kilowatts charging your battery while the heavy cable is still safe. Uh. Okay, well, I'd, uh, I don't understand that, but I guess that's more of a bug slash glitch slash whatever. So I probably won't do that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to call it. Anyway, um, so between episodes, what I will do is I'll get some more decorating done. Um, I will probably think about adding some more solar panels, although I might do that in the next video or next stream. I'll put some solar panels on top of this building, run the power cable across into my batteries. That should work. Um, yeah, that decorates... Once I've done that, farm, and then I think I just want to start looking towards making the rocket because I'm going to have everything I'm going to need um, to survive on the moon. Really, like I don't. There's there's no reason not to go and explore another planet. Really. Hi, Wickers. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I've been going for two and a half hours. If it helps, though, not done much. Um, all I've done in this episode is release heat from my CO2 tank into the base, which has caused my base to overheat, which is always a fun thing. So I've put this aircon in with the help of everybody. Um, I've built a um, I've built a greenhouse, which obviously we will get working as soon as the temperature of the base uh, cools down. And I've, I've obviously built a suit storage. We've got our little drink drinking fountain. Uh, we've got our shower. Before you end, look at your room temp. Yeah, the temperature in here is much better now. The aircon is definitely working. Um, yeah, the wall coolers aren't going to be able to keep up. So I just need the farm to get below 40. I think we're on about 16 here. 58. Oh no, 59. Uh, 59 degrees, it's coming down. 
so yeah next time i'll get this done um stop power and all that other stuff but i'm going to stop jibber jabbering now so i hope you all have a good uh rest of your weekend before i go um I am not sure. I think I might try and squeeze a stream in on Thursday. Um, I'm going away on Friday for the Easter weekend. So I'm going to try and get some random content put out. Uh, just because I, I want to get, I just want to kind of fill that gap. I, I don't like the idea of going four days without publishing anything. Um, so yeah, I might stream on Thursday, but I'll let uh, I'll let you all know on the channel, and then you can help me out some more if that's okay. The temperature of the CO two is currently minus eleven. Uh, that would be too cold, wouldn't it? Let me quickly get outside and uh, get those radiators disconnected. Because if I don't do it now, I will just forget. Stop, 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 Okay, uh, spanner or wrench, whatever you want to call it. Uh, yes, it is a close call. Um, but See, look, everything is always fine. What temperature does it need to get to to start freezing? Stop, jetpack, stop. Yeah, uh, so like I said, the next video, I'm hoping for Thursday. Um, I'll try not to make it too late, but I have still got work on the Thursday as well. But I've got to drive early in the morning. So we'll see how that goes. Might not be as long of a stream, but meh. We'll see what happens. It normally is. But thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, appreciate your time, as always, and normal, and all that kind of stuff. Your help's always greatly appreciated. Um, enjoy your Saturday. Enjoy your Sunday. Hope your Monday's not going too bad. And for, I don't know if any of you guys have bank holidays, but if you do, enjoy just a four-day week. And I will see you in the next stream. You can do the same to control your gas temps. Connect both input and output to the gas pipe and set the temp you want. I will do that in the next episode. Thank you, John. Uh, yeah, I've got loads of little jobs that I need to do around here. But yeah, take care. Thanks, everyone. Have a good evening. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.